Aloha folks, I'm Kira Balul with your Maui Now headlines. Drivers reported delays and congestion of one to two hours on Monday, April 23rd, opening day of the newest phase of the Lahaina Bypass. Transportation officials largely attributed delays on Honoa Pi'ilani Highway to utility work in Oluwalu, which should be done by next week. They also say it takes time for drivers to get used to the new traffic patterns. Learn more about what's changed and where you can access the bypass at MauiNow.com. A power outage affected more than 9,000 customers in various parts of Maui on Friday, April 20th, west, south, east, central, and upcountry. The power went out around 8.40 a.m. after an incident on the electrical system triggered an automatic load shed or safety reaction that starts to drop circuits around the island to prevent damage to the system. Power was restored to all customers within one to three hours. A coalition on Maui has launched a 15% for the future campaign, which is petitioning Alexander and Baldwin to donate or allow the sale of former sugarcane lands in central Maui to support affordable housing and farming. The Hukilike no Maui Together for Maui Coalition has identified lands in Pu'unene and Hali'i Maile that it wants in the hands of local entities to establish small-scale agriculture and affordable housing for Maui residents. The coalition has also identified areas as prospects for cultural and environmental conservation, including the Waiale Reservoir, Waiale Sand Dunes, Ma'alaya Bay Coastline, Kealia Pond, Baldwin Beach Park, and Ho'okipa Beach Park. Get more details at MauiNow.com. University of Hawaii Maui College is the first UH campus to achieve net zero, meaning it produces as much energy as it consumes. UHMC has received national recognition for the achievement. It held a luau this week, celebrating the fact that UHMC will produce, store, and use 100% renewable energy on its campus by this time next year. Solar panels were installed last year, and more are going in to complete phase two of the net zero project, which has reportedly offset 30% of total energy consumption on campus to date. That's it for now. I'm Kira Balul with your headlines for Maui Now, everything Maui, always now.